Hi, welcome to ASC Table Talk. I'm Dr. Kevin Linfield. Today we're in the lab with me, Walt Jambeck, Senior Test Supervisor, Airflow Sciences. So Walt, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about leak checking a 3D probe. So why would somebody leak check a probe? Uh, you would leak check a probe to test out the integrity of your equipment. Would I need you leak check you know, all probes? Uh, yeah, I would leak check all probes, anything that measures pressure or velocity. Excellent. Would you be able to give us a demonstration of the leak tech process? Certainly. Our 3D accessories kit comes with the leak check hood. The hood goes right over the probe head, sealing off all five ports. You then would pressurize the system no more than 25 inches of water. After the system steadies out, you then hit start leak check. The leak check will go through a 15 second average and it'll then pop up the decay rate and it'll give you a pass or a fail. Green is pass, red is failed. This system has currently passed. Excellent, well I'm really glad it passed the test. But uh, could you give me an example or show me how it could fail the test? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, if this was a failed a test, say for instance, one of the fittings were not fully connected, and then you hit start leak check, and it goes back through the five second average, 15 second average, and then it should pop up as a failed test. So I see, I right. see it read there as a failed test. So if somebody's in the field and they do see it being a failed test, what should somebody do? Uh, you can start off by checking the hood, location of the hood, and make sure that is well sealed and all your fittings. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for showing us how to do a leak check weld. I'm Dr. Kevin Linfield. This has been ASE Table Talk.